I like to try to start every day by eating breakfast and drinking coffee and journaling. Today I had donut for breakfast because um, that was left over from my birthday. I always choose donuts instead of cake because the town I'm from makes the best pumpkin donuts. Um, my kitty joined me for some journaling and then I started working on field placement activities. Um, I have to do a field placement for my final two semesters in college, so this semester and next semester, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll graduate. I took some notes from the online module that I was studying. And eventually Peanut decided to join me for this part too. I'm not exactly sure yet, but we think he's a boy. He is the sweetest kitty ever. until he starts biting me, but it's still pretty cute. So I also wanted to show my Delphonics pouch and how I'm carrying my supplies in here. Um, the, I've got my Muji pens clipped to the top pocket and then I have some double-sided tape, some post-it notes, and then I got these scissors from Amazon. They're super compact and I really like them. Um, I think this is kind of a better alternative to some of the smaller pairs of scissors. This is some quickie glue, so I can glue in pictures to my Hobonichi. Um, this is a Muji pencil. And then I also have a Uniball Signal with white ink. I got these Animal Crossing stickers a couple years ago um, when I was shopping in New York, and they're just so cute. There's character stickers and furniture, and I think it's meant so you can make little like scenes and furnish little rooms. Um, I keep another pen case in this back pocket and it's got my mild liners and some more sticky notes in it. I really love this little pen case. My grandma got it for me. I don't have anything in those other two pockets. And then inside, there's two pockets on either side but I don't have anything in those. And then this is what my Hobonichi looks like inside the Delphonics. It's kind of a tight fit. Sometimes in the morning after I'm done studying, I like to go for a walk and there's this really great park near where I live that I like to walk through on my way to get coffee. Um, there's some sculptures up in the park that are really cool. They're hanging from what looks like nothing at first glance. Looks like they're just floating in the air. And the leaves are falling like crazy now. It really is starting to look like fall. Um, this is more of my walk to the coffee shop. And today was really kind of gloomy and foggy outside. And there's Starbucks. I got an iced coffee, that's usually what I get. <laughs> And then this is my favorite sculpture in the whole park. This is another entrance to the park. I think I got a good view of it today. This is a little bit about the park. It's called Schiller Park. And there are these really beautiful flowers growing like toward the middle of the park um, where there's also like a big statue <laughs> of Schiller. <laughs> and then I also wanted to show um, these little peppers. I always try to walk by them and check on their progress when I'm in the park. 
I think they're really cute. And then I eat some plantain chips with some hummus that I made and some yogurt. And after that I went to work. This was my first time ordering directly from the Hobonichi website. Usually I order from Jet Pins or Amazon, but this year I wanted to get some extras, so I decided to order directly from their site, and I'm really happy that I did. My package came in six days, and I got some extras. So these are the Earthbound pencil boards. I got an A5 and a Weeks one, and this is one of the Weeks cover-on-cover -cover designs. And I also got an A5, just plain cover on cover. And then this is what I was most excited about. This is the Mint Designs zigzag cover in A5. I just love the neon pink. I was a little surprised when I opened it because I wasn't expecting the stripe placement on the front cover. And at first I thought the back was actually the front, but it's really growing on me. I really like it. And then these are some extras. Um, this year I decided I wanted to get a week's book band. I got a stencil, some sticky notes, and some stickers. And this is the weeks that I chose. It's the mint one. And this is my full year cousin. This is the pen freebie, the brush freebie, and another pen freebie. Putting on this cover on cover took me way too long. <laughs> I am not good at putting these on these books, but luckily I did it without creasing the cover. I was worried about that. The book band was kind of difficult to open up. Um, I think I'm gonna need to break it in quite a bit. It's hard to fasten. And then the Hobonichi site actually does say that um, they don't recommend putting a cover on cover on the Mint Designs cover, but I decided to give it a try. It doesn't fit perfectly, <laughs> but I think I can break it in a bit and it'll fit just fine. So I just realized while editing that I didn't show what this cover looks like with a book inside. So this is the Fool Your Cousin, that's what it looks like. I haven't written anything or pasted anything into the pages, so it's a completely new book. I mean, I think it fits really nicely. The website does say that like the spine is gonna stick up a bit, but it really doesn't bother me. And I think once the book um, bulks up a little bit, I won't even notice. Um, I also wanted to show my traveler's notebook that I'm keeping my weeks in. Um, this is a traveler's company notebook. This is the blue one. And I have the Hobonichi book band on the outside. Um, I have a Muji pencil and the brush pen freebie in the pen loops, but I'll probably switch those out at some point. And then I'll show you what the weeks looks like in here. 
This is a Traveler's Company um, insert. And then in the middle, I have my weeks. And there's my pencil board again. Um, this definitely doesn't fit perfectly. There's space on the edges and above and below the book, but I think it works really nicely and I'm excited to use it in this cover. Um, I haven't put anything in here yet, but um, I figure I'll put pictures or um, stickers, stuff like that in there once I start using it. And then also really quickly, I wanted to show my Delphonics pouch again um, because I got a new mount for my camera and I got a new table to film on um, for me to do voiceovers in this room that's separate from where my other desk is. I wanted to show how the Hobonichi fits in this pouch because I couldn't get a really good angle with the camera setup I had before. This is my 2020 cousin. I've only been writing in it since July, but it's getting kind of chunky and it's a little bit of a tight fit in here. I was hoping that this would be a little more roomy in, in this section, um, but this is what um, a brand new book would look like. It slides in super easily and fits really well. So hopefully it doesn't bulk up too much next year or I will need to find a different pouch to fit this. But it slides in and out super easily and I don't have anything in those inside pockets so um, that kind of helps too. I also wanted to show my five year really quick. I have it in my Pilofax Malden. Um, I took the rings out so that I could put notebooks in here and for a while I was carrying my English planner in this cover um, but I switched to A5 when I started school again and needed more room so I wanted to do something else with this cover and decided to try the five year starting next year so I'm really excited to write in this book too. So this is kind of my lineup for 2021. We'll see um, how the five year goes and if I end up using my weeks. Usually um, I try to use the weeks at the beginning of every year and fail miserably, um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, usually I use my cousin and my English planner if I'm using one as a diary. Um, so we'll see if I plan or journal or do a bit of both in this book. But yeah, this is the plan for 2021.